And it's now out of its test cell. Moving toward the solid rocket booster stack. And here is Atlantis being prepared for its rollover to the vehicle assembly building from its hangar, Orbiter Processing Facility Bay 1. This was in February of this year, February the 7th. This is the short 20-minute uh, tow from the hangar over to the vehicle assembly building transfer aisle. And Atlantis was then attached to its lifting sling and rotated to vertical in preparation for mating to the external tank solid rocket booster stack. They're now in the vertical position. Atlantis now gradually being lowered into position next to the external tank. This was in last February. And that then took us to the rollout after the shuttle interface test between the orbiter, the tank, and the boosters. about a 3.8 mile, mile trip from the vehicle assembling out building out to launch pad 39A and there we can see the hail damage to the external tank which occurred after the hailstorm on the 27th of February and the decision was then made to roll back to the vehicle assembly building so that the Hail damage could be repaired. That uh, rollback that we're now seeing occurred on March the 4th. And at that point, the access platforms would put back into position around Atlantis, and some special scaffolding was erected for access to this area of the tank. The nose cone area was the area of highest density where repairs were necessary. You can see the sanding down of some of these spots and the special access placed around the tank to get to these locations. Some of this uh, red dye put uh, on the tank after sanding down looks for either cracks or divots in the tank. And then that is then uh, sanded down.
And this is the uh, where uh, somewhat fewer hits, but in this particular area, a, a decision was made to sand down that entire that entire spot. And patch it. Here's one of the sanding uh, operations on one of the smaller divots that was repaired. Total of almost 3,000 hits on Atlantis' tank that were repaired. That took us back to roll out again which occurred on May 15th. This was uh, not the first time that we had had hail damage to a tank. The last time this occurred was on STS-96 in 1999, but there were only about 750 hits to be repaired in that case. This uh, had a higher rate of hits and uh, more area to be covered, so it took somewhat of an innovative approach to do the repairs, which were done over a total of about 73 days. Here once again, Atlantis on launch pad 39A at the edge of the Atlantic Ocean, where we continue to be on schedule for a launch at 7.38 p.m. this evening. Weather is cooperating. And joining us now.